Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to take a look at Dice Theme Park. This is the retail version, not the Kickstarter version, so let's see what you get when you buy from the store. Okay folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep building up my fan base. Looking at the back of the box, again, this is not the deluxe version. This is new from the store, um, and it was just recently uh, released, but it, it is the regular version here. So looking at the back of the box, I like the fact that I can see what the game looks like in play. That's really cool. Tells me my components, gives me a little information about it. So overall, I appreciate that. They did a good job. All right, making my usual incision here now. Let's see what we got. Okay, taking a look at the inside, nothing special there. We do have the rule book that fills up the whole box. It's a little beefy, actually. It's kind of a surprise. So, um, but either way, it's laid out with a little white space there. There looks like you've got plenty of examples in the yellow. I don't think that's going to be too difficult to grasp. But there is, uh, you know, a decent amount of pages here, so it's going to take a little time to learn. All right. And I'm looking for, there's the end of the game. Looking for something that says like solo mode or whatever. Mini expansion, surprises. I don't know if that came in the box or not. And innovation, don't know. Those may have not come in the box. I think that's part of the add-ons. And then the promo pack. And then the solo rules, finally at the back. So you get some solo rules right there. So it looks like they put everything into the rule book, but you may not get everything unless you have the add-on or whatever. I do not, because I don't think I do. All right, so here's the game board. Here looks really nice. I like that it's kind of like a parking lot. That looks cool. Uh, medium size thickness, which is good. We get into our game tiles now. Artwork is very colorful. Kind of reminds me of some of those old theme park tycoon games. Whoops. Have no problem punching it out, as you can see there. Take it to die. Oh, All right. So continuing here, take a look at the different taking a look at the different rides. Yeah, they definitely have a very colorful feel. I like games that look fun to play. This one has that look about it thus far. Okay. So there we go. Digging deeper into the box here. All right. Now we get to some counters. All these are medium thickness. Looks like it'll be quick, good high quality. Nice soft um, felt like bag there. So that looks good. Everything looks high quality. No real uh, threads or anything like that falling out. Now we've got these plastic dice. These are the blue ones. Got some yellow ones. And some green ones. So those are our dice for the game. They all have um, very square like side so they won't tip over on you i'm guessing and decent heft there now you've got some different looks like types of animals or mascots or whatever here so those are kind of cool new shapes we've got some screen printed um maybe player counters a red marker here all by itself and then some standard cubes and then we've got a couple of decks of cards let's open these small ones first Okay, so in the small deck, card quality is pretty good. It's a little thin. You're probably going to want to sleeve these. There is a texture to them, but I would say they're sleeveable. Um, if you're that kind of person, I would, I'm going to definitely sleeve them. So I can see this says two players here, three players. Again, the artwork looks nice and fun. Um, some information here on maybe these are achievements, it looks like. Okay, so those are functional, not a ton of artwork there, just kind of functional achievements. So lots of different things going on there as far as what to do achievement wise. All right, and then let's take a look at the bigger decks here. Maybe, there we go. Okay, and on these bigger decks, assuming we're gonna have the same quality of cards, same texture and stuff, yes. 
same texture, also same thickness. So it's a little thin. I'm going to definitely, um, you can even see like the spots there from just being in the box kind of dinged up and such. Definitely going to be sleeving these. All right. So artwork is, uh, you know, again, like that cartoonesque style thing looks like the same kind of artwork on each car, but just a different color. Okay. And now we get a little varied stuff here. But yeah, overall pretty good. Different colors. And looks like maybe some player aids or some starting cards. And finally, this pack of cards here. Kind of an interesting card back. I don't think I've ever really seen a card back that looks like that. I mean, all of them are unique, right? But this one kind of looks like it's like a party, theme park party kind of thing. So here we've got some different initiative cards, I suppose. That's probably determining the player order or something. And then these other ones, snapshots. So I guess it's just taking pictures, pinwheels. I'm not sure what these are, uh, but you can see a bunch of different things here. All right, and that's what we got, folks. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you do, whatever you play in the future, I hope you have an awesome time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.